the Chinese used two brush strokes to write the word crisis. One brush stroke stands for danger, the other for opportunity. In a crisis, be aware of the danger but recognize the opportunity. Forgive your enemies, but never forget their names. The rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. We must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Conformity is the jailer of freedom and the enemy of growth. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Victory has a hundred fathers and defeat is an orphan. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Too often we hold fast to the cliches of our forebears. We subject all facts to a prefabricated set of interpretations. We enjoy the comfort of opinion without the discomfort of thought. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. Do not pray for easy lives, pray to be stronger men. One person can make a difference, and everyone should try. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. Ideas have endurance without death. If we cannot now our differences, at least we can help make the world safe for diversity. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Liberty without learning is always in peril, and learning without liberty is always in vain. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Mankind must put an end to war or war will put an end to mankind. The time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining. We cannot negotiate with people who say what's mine is mine and what's yours is negotiable. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. Without debate, without criticism, no administration and no country can succeed and no republic can survive. Peace is a daily, a weekly, a monthly process, gradually changing opinions, slowly eroding old barriers, quietly building new structures, and however undramatic the pursuit of peace, that pursuit must go on. A man does what he must in spite of personal consequences, in spite of obstacles and dangers and pressures, and that is the basis of all human morality. Those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. Art is the great Democrat, calling forth creative genius from every sector of society, disregarding race or religion or wealth or color. The ignorance of one voter in a democracy impairs the security of all. For in the final analysis, our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's futures, and we are all mortal. We need men who can dream of things that never were. Those who foolishly sought power by riding the back of the tiger ended up inside. All this will not be finished in the first 100 days nor will it be finished in the first 1,000 days.
nor even perhaps in our lifetime on this planet. But let us begin. We must never forget that art is not a form of propaganda. It is a form of truth. We are tied to the ocean, and when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. I look forward to a future in which our country will match its military strength with our moral restraint, its wealth with our wisdom, its power with our purpose. The supreme reality of our time is the vulnerability of our planet. A boy spends his time finding a girl to sleep with. A real man spends his time looking for the one worth waking up to. Not every child has an equal talent or an equal ability or equal motivation, but they should have the equal right to develop their talent and their ability and their motivation to make something of themselves. There is, in addition to a courage with which men die, a courage by which men must live. The most powerful single force in the world today is neither communism nor capitalism, neither the H-bomb nor the guided missile. It is man's eternal desire to be free and independent. The one unchangeable certainty is that nothing is certain or unchangeable. Once you say you're going to settle for second, that's what happens to you in life, I find. Children are the world's most valuable resource and its best hope for the future. Tolerance implies no lack of commitment to one's own beliefs. Rather, it condemns the oppression or persecution of others. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. There are costs and risks to a program of action, but they are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. A nation reveals itself not only by the men it produces, but also by the men it honors, the men it remembers. I was born an American. I live like an American. I will die an American. A nation that is afraid to let its people judge the truth and falsehood in an open market is a nation that is afraid of its people 